about to mention the quarter up right bar on the lathe, I want to part the piece off so I can make a ball for the handle for the ball turner. I'm going to use the anchor loop as a lubricant to part it off, as it couldn't come out to part it off. What you don't do is that and try and screw it a bit on because you're going to waste it. All you do is you put a small amount and you'll the tub. If you wish you can also put water in and dilute it a little bit and you use an acid brush and just brush it on the part where you're going to cut and it doesn't take very much. I have not used this stuff before but I have watched other people use it and this is the way it should be used. Right, we've got a parting tool in here, it's on centre height, it's square to the job, the lathe carriage is locked off, we'll part this off. What I want to do with this is face it, drill it, and tap it 12 mil so I can screw it onto a mandrel and then try and machine a ball on it. And face it off first. I think this is where the anchor loop is going to be useful for drilling and tapping. drill for 12 mil yeah it's in a situation I guess where this stuff's really going to come to a join That's when it starts to get warm and really runs into the into the job. I need 12 mil top. Power. 
put a plug tap in just to finish it off. I will do a video comparing this anchor loop compared to what I normally use on some different materials. Stainless, I use a lot of stainless steel. It'll be interesting to see what sort of results it gives on stainless. Look at now, I must admit, I'm quite, quite impressed with it. Right, I've got the blanks to run to a, to a 12mm bolt. I'll put that in the chuck and I'll have a good putting a ball on the end of it. I just feel something little. Pip off the end of there. He has to be forming a ball. I think I need to play around with the geometry of the tool a bit more. better with the anchor lube on it was dry.
think once I get a better angle on the cutter, on the tool, a bit of experiment, it'll, uh, it'll cut a lot better. I'll try speeding the lathe up a little bit. Run a thousand RPM there. Not the best finish in the world it would, would polish up with emery but I think it's a, the tool geometry wants a bit clear wrong with but for a first attempt it's not bad it's certainly a ball I think one of the big advantages of this is going to be it's, it's got no smell when I use my ordinary my cutting oil that's this stuff sulfur based cutting oil it does put smoke out and it smells and the white doesn't like it. This stuff smells like almonds. Quite pleasant. I'd just like to say once again, thanks very much for all the support you've given me and my channel. But especially the support you've given to my wife. Um, all the messages, all the kind words, it's made a massive difference. Deb does sit and read through them all. Uh, she generally ends up crying, but she does, she does sit and read through them all. Anyway, once again, thanks very much.